You're probably not making any money right now, which is why you're watching this video, and I know it probably sucks. I say this being someone who was in your shoes just six short years ago. This is me, Sebastian Escueda, and then this is my business partner whose name is funny enough, also Sebastian. Just a few years ago, we stumbled across dropshipping and that ended up being the vehicle that allowed us to make a substantial amount of money at a ridiculously young age. Let's rewind a few months ago, him and I were filming a podcast and he said something a little bit controversial that not everyone really agreed with. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Yep. Because it's- But realize... people took him way too seriously and I guess we stirred up a little bit of drama. So because of that video, that is why he now just posted a video titled how to buy a Lambo in your 20s. And in that video, he teased this specific video mentioning how dropshipping was the way that he would go if he were starting out from scratch and that's pretty much where we're picking things up from so how can you go out and make a ton of money with dropshipping the best way to learn with dropshipping is to see what other people are doing and exactly how they are doing it take that information and siphon it out apply it to your own dropshipping business and succeed I'm going to share our exact methods for how we recently took a store from zero to $20,000 per day in sales in just five days. On day one, we did $0 in sales. On day two, we actually hit $339. By day three, we hit $13,284. By day four, we almost hit 20K, hitting $19,500 in sales. And on day five, we hit $20,700 in sales, profiting around 35%. Now I agree, these results sound absurd, but if you keep watching, I'll explain to you how you guys can figure out exactly how we hit this 20K per day in just five days and honestly, how you can do the same. There is this specific five-step ladder. Here's five steps in this ladder. Five steps that we follow with pretty much every single dropshipping store that allows us to find a product and then scale it up like we're doing pretty much all the time. This not only ensures that we are getting everything dialed in, but more importantly, we're able to engineer success with almost every single store that we're launching as of now. The first step in this ladder is going to be just finding a really good product. I know I've said this countless times, but I'm going to make it as simple and easy to understand as humanly possible. The free course that we've already made has some pretty good in-depth product research methods, and so I'm not going to bore you guys for an hour or so on just product research. That's not what the video is about, but if you want the free course, I'll have a link below. You don't have to pay us anything for it. But to simplify it, you just need a really good product that people are going to jump at in a heartbeat. So once you find a product, you need to dig in with research on the product. Essentially, the goal here is to figure out and reverse engineer what is working. You wanna, again, like I mentioned in the beginning, find a product where people are already selling it. That way, you don't have to go out and test the product on your own. Yes, you will run ads, but you will confidently be running them because you know a competitor is already selling the product and probably raking in the dough. You can use Google Trends, Amazon, AliExpress, all of these platforms, and again, product research tools to find data and analyze exactly what's going on in the market. The goal here is to not just find one product, but find a handful of products that you can then go out and test or maybe pick the top one or two and then go from there. But you don't want to just get laser focused on one simply because you probably don't know what a really good product is as of now. This is where you start to create your offer. This is something that I don't think enough people talk about. You can have a really good product, but if your offer is not enticing, you will not have profitable sales. You essentially want to make the customer feel like they are taking advantage of you with the current offer you're running. Now, I'm not going to give you our exact offer that we did for the 20K per day offer, but if you stick around to the end of the video, I will share a way that you can actually get complete behind the scenes of that store, including the store itself the product, the ad strategy, the content, and everything else. But for example, if I were to sell this golf stroke trainer, everyone online is selling it as is. They're not doing any sort of bundles. They're not doing any sort of package deal. They're not really doing anything. Those little discounts are extremely boring and played out to where 
customers are just numb to it. They expect everyone to have a 50% off discount to this point, so it doesn't even really excite them. So what do we do differently? What would make someone sprint to their wallet to grab their credit card to purchase this little golf stroke trainer? Perhaps we give them free golf balls for a limited time, maybe even a dumb golf t-shirt with a funny golf meme on it. Giving them something like that would spike their interest and make them want to purchase on an instant. With the offer, you can even do something as simple as a buy one, get one free offer. Just something a little bit outside of the box to basically get customers excited. That's all you pretty much need. So once you pick a product, you create a good offer, it is time for step three. This is where the creatives or basically the visual aspect of your ads come into play. People freak out when they're making content to launch their dropshipping store, but I can tell you it's actually really simple. We have a specific framework that we follow to make basically all of our content for our ads. We number one, just research our competition. As you guys can tell, research is a big part of dropshipping. I know it's pretty crazy, but in all seriousness, all you have to do is not reinvent the wheel. So what we do is if we're selling a remote, what we would do is find competitors selling this same little remote here and see exactly what they're doing for their own ad. And then from there, you need to analyze why the ads are working. So for example, POV, you bought the new Lululemon bag for 75% off. If I saw this video as an ad and it's stating the offer in the first few seconds of the video, I would probably just redo this for my own clothing brand. It is 10 times better than doing something like, OMG, check out this golf trainer thing I got. It's 50% off. It makes you swing better and you need to get it now because the sale ends tonight. That sounds like bullshit. And if you need help with creatives or basically any other step I'm talking about, there's a free course below and there is also more information that I'll share with you guys in a second, but we have two more steps to go. So let's get into this fourth step. This is going to be setting up the ad. I remember when I started dropshipping, I tried Facebook ads and they were so difficult because I just didn't have a really good strategy. And it was once I dialed in a strategy, Strategy. That's where I kind of started to figure everything out and scale and make a ton of money. And until then, I was pretty much just lighting my pockets on fire. The same thing applies to TikTok ads today. We test a product and on day one, we just use a CBO and an ABO. Each have five ad groups, 50 bucks a day for the CBO, 20 bucks a day per ad group for the ABO. Simple enough. And those are both for complete payments and we run those for two days while we're testing the product. Now, if you don't have a big budget, just pick one of those strategies and run with one campaign campaign instead of two, but let those run for two days to analyze and see what's going on. Now, once ads start to perform, or if they don't perform well, if you don't see any profitable ad groups in the first two days, turn the ads off and then maybe find another product or do more creatives. But for this instance, what we did is we actually saw certain ad groups were going absolutely insane. And we had like five or six creatives and one of those creatives was crushing it for us. So we saw that and then got into our ad account and ramped up spend quickly on the next following days after we tested. What we started to do were edit our campaign budget the same day. So if I wake up and on 8 a.m. our ads are crushing it throughout the day till noon, then we'll edit the campaign's budget, bump it up, and keep doing that every hour or so to maintain our ad spend and to also hopefully profit more. We kept up with it for the following few days, basically just turning off ads if they weren't profitable, scaling up ad spend for others. And on day four, the same thing took place. We ramped up spend. This has all been done with a pretty similar structure or framework that we use from the free course. It's kind of scary to say it, but like you can make a few hundred bucks per day with the free course. However, there are some ad strategies that I haven't really yet talked about on the free course and more specifically on YouTube as a whole. To make things even crazier, we've done this without really any initial capital. I've spent 50 to 100 bucks just ordering the product in, filming organic content and then posting it and building up a few hundred bucks for cash to then reinvest into TikTok ads. And it's kind of nuts that that's even a thing. Like you don't really have to spend money on ads. Now, once you get to that point where you have a ton of money to reinvest, that's where things get really fun. I just showed you firsthand this little case study where we took a store from zero to 20K per day in just five days, scaling it on TikTok. And when you find a winner with TikTok, it tends to be a lot easier to just ramp up ad spend and scale a product fast compared to Facebook. If we did that, we would run into a lot of issues and more importantly, the whole organic aspect kind of just makes it a no brainer thing for people to get into. Now, I know I didn't mention step five, that is going to be building out your website, but for this exact website, I can't show it on this YouTube video simply because it's a store 
that we did some insane numbers with. But like Seb mentioned in his video, we both have been deeply involved in the e-commerce space for the past six years. And it's shocking to see that we haven't really seen an opportunity like the one that's presenting itself right now in the past with organic content and even just TikTok as a whole. When we started, we had to risk a ton of bankroll on a very regular basis. I remember I got down to $42. I literally have the tattoo right there. That was my last bit of money and I was constantly spending money trying to figure stuff out and now it's just changed a lot. So like I had mentioned earlier, we launched that free course six months ago because Seb and I kind of got irritated that it was so easy to drop ship, but also how we still were getting so many people DMing us asking like, how do I make money? How do I start this? How do I do that? When in reality, it was so simple. People just didn't have a blueprint. But fast forward to present day and this sounds absolutely absurd to say, but there's over a hundred 180,000 of you guys in the free course. And we've had so many people go from not knowing anything to now making a few hundred bucks a day, 500, maybe even a thousand dollars a day with dropshipping just from our free information. With all of that said, the past six months, we've got overwhelmingly two things requested from us. You want more in-depth training. For example, how we exactly took a store from zero to 20K per day in five days. You want to know what sort of content strategies are working and maybe even see some of our winning content. And today is the day where I'm going to show you exactly how you can have pretty much the keys to our castle. So over the past few months, Seb and I have been working on a new paid version of Discover TikTok Dropshipping. We like to call it 2.0, a very new program with tons of new modules. We also have a community that we've built around this and basically everything we wish we had six years ago when we started. I've had so many headaches with dropshipping when I first started out and there's a lot of stuff that led me down weird trails that never even led to any sort of success, like testing the wrong products, not even understanding what a winning product is, not understanding how to position an offer. And so that's why we are including an exact case study for the store that I'm mentioning in this YouTube video, showing how we actually did the 20K in a single day to help you understand what it takes to have a winning dropshipping store. So we give you our exact offer system for how we go from making a bland offer, an irresistible offer that most people would buy. Or maybe you guys just struggle with running ads properly. We are gonna share with you how to test a product, but moving way past that because that's what we did in the free course going into how you guys can scale up to over $10,000 per day in sales and way past that with our exact ad strategies. I also struggled with staying motivated and having a good head on my shoulders. So in turn, I had no idea how to be thinking properly to ensure success. So Seb and I filmed a lot of videos going over mindset and also some other stuff to ensure you guys are just mentally on the right track. All of these hurdles and mistakes wasted tons of money and time time in my entrepreneurial career. And that could have all been saved if I just had all of this information at my little fingertips. It's a simple way to go from dabbling in dropshipping with your free course that we've given to you guys to then taking the jump to this affordable program that we've created to not only learn a way more with dropshipping, but also to have access to a community around you that will then help you level up and stay accountable on a daily basis to ensure you guys are crushing it. So with all of that being said, I want you guys to check out the link in the description, there's going to be a page right there where you can learn how to not only get access to the program, but get access to both of us, access to enter some insane giveaways and tons of other stuff. It's basically as cheap as we could feasibly make it. In this new program, we're sharing methods to scale up to $5,000 per day, even $10,000 plus per day, all from the comfort of your own home. Basically all of the sauce you guys need to succeed with TikTok. The best way to learn with dropshipping is to see what other people are doing and exactly how they are doing it take that information, siphon it out, apply it to your own dropshipping business and succeed. So if this all sounds valuable to you, click the link in the description and I will see you on the other side. Thank you guys for watching this video and see ya.